What's up all my stock market investors, it is Shaddai and I'm back again with another Cash App investing video. And with the economy looking to be opening back up, I thought it was only right to compare two entertainment companies. One I think will be here in 10 years. The other one, maybe not so much. I'm talking Live Nation Entertainment and World Wrestling Entertainment. Live Nation has taken the bigger hit here and I would say that's mainly because they don't have any documentaries or virtual concerts that they can sell. They physically need people to buy tickets and show up to venues in order to make money. In the short term, I don't know how that's going to be possible if people still need to stay six feet away from each other. You know, in concerts, you're usually used to people pushing each other, rubbing against each other. So, I don't know. I guess time will tell there. But... As of today, this stock is down 40%, currently trading at 38.82, with a 52-week low of 21.70 and a 52-week high of 76.60. They had a net income of 69,000, beta just a little bit over one, and something that stuck out to me in their balance sheet was $2 million in non-cancellable agreements. And for those of you who don't know, they have these uh, lease agreements with these venues. And hopefully, there's something about a pandemic in those agreements. But if not, then they on the hook for $2 million in lease agreements. And that's something to note when you're trying to decide whether it's a company worth taking the risk on. I think that long-term Live Nation is still a good bet. It's just an unfortunate situation for them because not only one is music concerts down, you know, their second their second stream of income, which is, you know, the sports management agency, Rock Nation, that's kind of taking a hit too. So the future will really tell, but I thought that Live Nation was a good company to look into. I'm very interested in them. But you have to do your own research and see if they're a company worth adding to your portfolio. World Wrestling Entertainment. I used to love wrestling. And still to this day, I don't understand how they're surviving. But it could be their TV deals. It could be their merch deal. The kids love wrestling. And although it's going to take time for wrestling matches to be back what it was before, they still have some other streams of income that could hopefully hold them afloat. As I make this video, this stock is down 46%, currently trading at 44.13, with a 52-week low of 29.10 and a 52-week high of 87.81. They had a net income of 116,000, so they're, they're profitable, which is a good sign. And their beta wasn't shown, which is just telling me that they're super volatile, which I could already kind of guess that because it makes a great TV experience when there's fans in the stands cheering these wrestlers on as they fight. Right now, obviously, we don't have that, so we will see. But wrestling still brings in $1 billion in revenue, not compared to $11 billion like Live Nation, but a billion's a billion. They're still surviving. This may put them on the edge, though. It really depends on how they maneuver, and how they work this out. Because although wrestling is a huge industry, and they have a lot of diehard fans, they still need to, to bring in fans, they still need to sell tickets to these fights in order to get that TV deal. No, if no one's in the stands, I don't think that they get the same TV deal. I really don't. It, it'd be hard to see that. But I think that they compare very well to a Live Nation. But I think Live Nation is the winner here in this battle. And mainly because music will still be here 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years from now, music will still be here. And maybe there won't be concerts in person, but Live Nation will still have the ability to 
make something happen in the music entertainment industry. They'll be able to, whether it's going to be virtual concerts, whether it's like virtual group listening experience. I don't know. I'm just throwing things out there. But I think that Live Nation has more of an upper hand just because of the industry that they're in. Wrestling, maybe there might be no wrestling in 10 years. I don't know. We will see. Will will the world wrestling uh, toys and merch keep them alive? Or will Live Nation's music industry keep them alive? Which one are you betting against? Are you going against the music industry or are you going against the wrestling? Let me know in the comments which company you think will survive, which company you will invest in or you you would rather invest in. And don't forget to tell me why below in the comments. Like I said, I would lean more towards Live Nation. I understand music and I know music is going to be here forever and ever and ever, especially with some of the talent that they, they hold under their umbrella. And they have exclusive rights to a lot of these venues that I understand is not open now, but Hey, if Georgia has a good good couple weeks, things can start to open back up. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this video. Let me know how you feel in the comments. Take it easy, y'all.